Th thank you, Chair. TfL has successfully been working in partnership with the freight industry and businesses to encourage a transition to cleaner, safer and more efficient vehicles. As well as the existing expansion of the ULES and the tightened LEZ, this joint work includes our world-leading direct vision standard, which has re revolutionized HGV safety by requiring advanced cab design or other safety technology to improve driver visibility of vulnerable road users. We're now working to expand the ULES to the whole of London next year. My 2018 transport strategy aimed to reduce freight traffic in the central London morning peak by 10% below 2016 levels by 2026. Levels are now well below this 2026 uh, target, although this is partially as a result of the pandemic. We can't be complacent uh, and assume this is permanent shift. I recognise, of course, that more needs to be done in the face of the climate emergency. I've set the challenging ambition for the capital to be net zero by 2030. To support this, I commissioned Element Energy to analyse potential pathways for London to meet this target. The analysis published in January informed the November 2022 revision to my transport strategy. Element Energy's accelerated green scenario, which is my preferred pathway to deliver my net zero target, includes a headline forecast that a 27% reduction in car vehicle kilometres travel in London is required by 2030 compared to 2018 levels. The scenario also includes forecasts for both LGV and HGV kilometre changes by 2030. To be clear, the MTS wording was changed to directly reflect the accelerated green scenario in the report, not to ignore or water down our ambitions for a switch to cleaner, safer and more efficient freight vehicles. I'll continue to work closely with the freight industry as outlined in my Freight and Service in Action Plan to support a shift from road freight to water, rail and zero emission late last mile solutions. A 27% reduction in car vehicle kilometres would be transformational for our city and represents the scale of ambition that would be required in the road transport sector to realise a London net zero 2030 target. Okay, um, first of all, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, I tabled this question today because we had a bit of a conversation about this at the plenary meeting, which was very interesting, but it didn't get you out of my bad books on this question of vehicle kilometres for HGVs and LGVs. Now, I asked you a written question at the same time on that day, and I got the answer back, which was asking what's in that element en energy set of assumptions, what is going on with the different types of vehicle and the reductions by borough? And the numbers I got back were really shocking. So by 2030, Element Energy's report assumes and, and calculates there will be no reduction in HGV kilometres and a 0.9% reduction in van kilometres across the capital. In boroughs, which is broken down by, Vans are up in 15 boroughs and HGVs are up in, in 11 boroughs. Now, now what's, what's going on there? That's not what we expect in terms of the distance being travelled by these vehicles. We expect if you're encouraging freight to switch, that might go down. Um, and, and I think I've got it. I think the scope of what you got Element Energy to do only really talked about looking at policies you were already doing and it relies on what targets you've set. So that's quite a circular argument. So, so I think I've got to the bottom of this. Um, this is surely something you'd consider further discussion about fixing, isn't it? This seems like a gap now. Well, firstly, Chair, it's an opportunity for me to suggest a, a, a good book, uh, Breathe by Sadiq Khan, out, out to a good bookshop near you very soon. Uh, but on the serious, on the serious, on the serious uh, point, it's not quite right, though, is it? Because we have got a target to reduce freight by 10%. Uh, in the central zone, but like the borough by borough analysis shows, although it's going down in some boroughs, it's going up by the same amount in the others. You're just shifting it. You're not well, actually well, reducing well, it. Well, well, no, because the the, the the target in the MTS originally was 10 percent in central London. But what um, the uh, accelerated green response from Element Energy talks about is making sure we can keep to that. Uh, across London, so no, no, so, it doesn't. So, no, no, because no, these are the numbers from that. Sure. So, so but that, this is the point that Seb was making, and I'm more than happy for you to meet with Seb Dance to discuss uh, to reassure you. See, so I, what what, what yeah. we'd like to see by 2030 is at least a 10 percent reduction in freight uh, from 2016 to 2030, on top of the 27 percent in uh, car. Uh, we've made some progress. Actually, there's been a reduction of 19 percent. The problem with the 19 percent figure is that could be co uh, because of the pandemic. And there's, yeah, there's nothing to stop it except exactly expanding right. again. No, exactly. exactly right. So, so I'm more than happy, and not just for belts and braces, but to get back into your good books, uh, for you to meet with, with the Deputy Mayor for Transport to discuss what more we can do to, 
to reassure you, but just to re just for me to reassure you now, we also have got policies to reduce uh, freight. I'll give you some examples of the work we're yeah, doing. No, with no, 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 because it's the targets that I'm focused on, and particularly about kilometres. Can I add one more thing, though? Sure, sure. Because um, we had a really interesting discussion in the Transport Committee yesterday about road with, user with charging. Sam. No, but with, with experts oh, yes, yes. And, and representatives of business. Um, it was very, very interesting. But we were all assuming, I think, within that discussion, that HGVs and LGVs would be included in road user charging. And I'm not completely convinced that you can include them if you don't have a target for the reduction in number of vehicle kilometres for those, those groups of vehicles. So I would really welcome a meeting to discuss this So why, why is that? Why is that? Um, because you're not naming a, a goal of redu reducing them in the in the um, strategy in the same way as you needed to do for other things. Anyway, um, I'm running out of time. So could I request a meeting to discuss sure. this? I know you've offered me a meeting with SAP, but to be honest, I think you should be meeting with your deputy mayor about his targets on this, and I'd like to convince you first. Uh, um, you're not invited to one of our meetings, but, but you're more than happy to, to meet with uh, I meet him all the time uh, to discuss a number of things, not least targets. Thank you.